All right, everybody, we're going to get started. Welcome to the Now D1 Twitter Space Series for Uncommitted High School Prospects. This is a series that we do every Monday through Thursday. We do it at 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm Alan Gay, and this is Now D1 Speaks. I'm Caleb DeVore. Really excited about tonight. Oh. Hey, Caleb, thanks for jumping in. Absolutely. So we're very, very excited. We got a uh, uncommitted 24. His name's Caleb DeVore. He's out of Tennessee. Super excited to have him on. Obviously, he's already here. Hey, Caleb, why don't you tell us, you know, a little bit about yourself? Kind of let us know where you go to high school, who your travel team is, what your GPA is, and uh, how you got into baseball. Yeah, of course. So, my name is Caleb DeVore, as you said, I'm class of 2024. I go to Station Game High School, located in Gallatin. It's like 20, 30 minutes right outside of Nashville, Tennessee. Um, my current GPA is 3.98 while taking mostly all honors classes in high school. Um, my summer ball team is the 2024 American with East Coast Sox Summer Ball. So that's a pretty big organization. It's a great one. My coach is Jared Bonvillian. I'm pretty sure he's here on Twitter. So if anyone wants to check him out. But uh, but baseball has been a key act to my life ever since my dad intro- introduced me to the game whenever I was like really really little and since then I've always loved it and respected it so I think what has helped my passion for like stay the same is how I've been blessed to the, always be on a competitive team that is always used to winning instead of like losing even though it's always about winning but it's just glad to always be on a winning team so you can keep just, like striving to do your best and help that team Heck yeah, man. What a great description. I appreciate you kind of going through all of that. Uh, One, what an impressive GPA, you know, 3.98, man, that's outstanding. Congratulations to you and the the team you're playing with, the East Coast Sox. I mean, that's big time baseball. I think, um, you know, I'm down here in Florida. There's a ton of great Florida teams, high school travel teams, so forth. But we're also very well at teams that are across the country. And East Coast Sox has got a fantastic reputation. So big time team right there, man. So let me ask you something, Caleb. What position do you play? And uh, hey, I don't want to trip you up with this. This is kind of one of these questions that you get asked a lot when you're being interviewed, you know, like what are your strengths and weaknesses? Mm -hmm. But tell us about a position you play. What is it that you really rely on? Because you know it's your strength. And then what are you trying to improve upon? Yeah, so I play mainly third and shortstop. Third for my high school team, started almost every game there this year. And then um, shortstop on my summer ball team last year, which I started almost every game there. Um, second, but that was mainly whenever I had like a weaker arm. But I've tried to stay in the weight room and get my arm up so I'm, I can be able to make the throws across the time. But my strongest point right now in my game is just – my defense and able to get to like the balls that are farther away at third and reaction time. And I'd say a weakness from my defensive game is my arm still, but I'm still like, I'm dedicated in the gym now and trying to eat healthy and get in the gym as much as I can. So. Hey, love it. Definitely love it. So uh, let me ask you something. As you were saying, you play third base for your high school team. Yes, sir. Hey, how's your uh, high school season? How's your high school season going? Uh, well, we just finished about on Sunday, regional tournament, but I say it was a success. I think we went 28 and 11 or something. So a very good this year. Did pretty well at third. Don't really have as much stats as I want probably right now, but I have posted on my Twitter highlights of defensive and offensive. So highlights. Yeah, for sure. Hey, man, I got to tell you, high school season, you go 28 and 11. I don't care how far you go in the playoffs. It's a great year. You know, one of the things that I've always found amazing, and you'll figure this out too, Caleb, as you get older in life, to win anything, to win the region, win sectionals, to, you know, if you were fortunate enough to win a state. Heck, if you were fortunate enough to win a little league championship, it's a big deal. I mean, it's incredible what it takes to actually win. Yeah, go ahead. I was just saying, yeah, like I'm used to 
was 11 U. We were the first team out of Gallatin to win the Little League state championship. So that's what, ever since then, I think I've always just loved it a little bit more because I want to get back to that feeling of winning like a big championship. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. I tell you what, let's kind of put that away for just a few minutes. I want to come back to that later. I mean, that's a, that's a massive accomplishment. That's really, really cool, Caleb. I want to talk about that. Hey, anybody that's joining and you just kind of jumped in, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we record this space. So we're going to be able to retweet it out later and in its entirety. If you missed anything, you'll be able to hear it. But thank you so much for being here. It's Monday through Thursday, 9 o'clock Eastern. Absolutely appreciate your support. So uh, tonight we're talking to 24 uncommitted Caleb DeVore. He's out of Tennessee, just outside of Nashville. Let me ask you something, Caleb. You know, how do you, how do you stay motivated to continue to improve your skills? and just kind of keep pushing yourself to get better. I know you made a comment that you've been playing little league or really Mm T-ball since your dad introduced you to the game. That's 10, 12 years ago. What is it that keeps you motivated? Uh, Part of the biggest thing is having friends around you. Like I've had almost the same friends around me ever since I've been little that I've been able to be around and like we push each other. So if like, let's say he gets a little better then I want to be right at his level. So we keep on like working together and trying to keep like really a competitive atmosphere around each other. So you'll never, no one is ever at their peak. So if he gets a little better, try to get to his level. And if I get a little better, he's going to try to get to my level. We'll keep on like getting close and close and close. So I think this helps mentally because in my mind, I'm going to push myself as hard as I can until I can be better than them. So. Man, I love that Caleb. I mean, that that's the kind of drive that really pushes you. And the thing that's so beautiful about that and so impressive is I know you're pulling for your friends to be as good as they can possibly be. And you're, you're absolutely, I, I can only imagine, you're clapping them on the back and encourage them as they have their successes. And, and, and I know they do the same for you. And that's the kind of thing that really pushes people. And that's what makes great teams. You know, when, mm-hmm. when you are doing as well as you can, and other guys around you are also doing as well, but you don't feel like, oh, my gosh, they're in the spotlight. I wish I was doing better. No, instead you're encouraging them. I love that, Caleb. Very, very mature from your perspective. And that's the kind of thing that makes teams very successful. Hey, uh, thinking back, of course, you know, we kind of mentioned, you know, your dad and uh, Little League has to be a lot of memorable memorable moments that you have probably had over the course of your career and probably some big time achievements. If you could think of anything in particular that you're particularly are proud of and but more importantly, whatever that achievement was, what did you learn from it? Yes, like we said, the eleven U All Stars is just a great like team to be around. We all were playing for each other. We all did like team bonding things before games games it wasn't even just about playing baseball it's about just being with my team the whole summer going out there winning ball games and be able to bring back a state championship to Gallatin which is my hometown so but I learned that it's more than just a game like we build relationships with people still like most of the people and those friends I still talk to today and that was six years ago so still talk with all them I played with all them since I was eight all the way up to now, I've played with about like five of them. So it's just really building relationships within the game and keeping you in contact with your friends. Hey, man, that is so cool. I love that. I know I know there's some parents that are going to be listening to uh, your comments tonight, and they're absolutely going to be able to uh, appreciate the successes. And if there was anybody that you kind of beat along the way, they're going to remember mm-hmm. the heartache as well. So that 11 U team, that wasn't like the the Little League World Series where you kind of finished Tennessee and then you went toward a region or anything like that. The 11 U is literally just the state and then just the state. Hey, every Oh man, that's awesome. I got to tell you there's so many kids that never experienced that. Where did you end up winning the championship? Where did y'all play like the uh, the championship games and so forth? Uh, I think it was in Johnson City. See, so east, okay, like Johnson City. Okay, I got you. That's more like toward the uh, the mountains and so forth. Yep. That's uh, east of Nash- Nashville, right? Yes, sir. I love it, About man. That's pretty cool. Away. 
Man, I love it. That's a great experience. I'm happy for you. That's uh, you know, that's something you'll draw on for the rest of your life. You'll never forget it. Uh, let me ask you now. All right, as I'm kind of thinking about this thing, <clears throat> you you jumped out and told us you had a 3.98 GPA, and I'm a sh- I, I feel pretty confident you know that's that's pretty good GPA, yes, and uh, <laughs> that doesn't just happen by accident. It takes a ton of work. You know, I am sure that you have put in the effort since a ninth grader, and that's what it takes. And uh, but you've also put in a ton of work as a baseball player. How in the world do you kind of combine those two so that you can uh, meet your academic commitments as well as meeting your your baseball commitments? Can't be easy. No, not easy at all. But mainly the thing is whenever I'm in school, I try not to slack around and I try to do as much as work as I can in the building because I believe that it's like if you be in the building doing something for school, might as well like while you're there, use your time wisely and get as much as you done can. So like if I get all my work done in school and stay focused in school, it gives me a lot more time outside of school where I can practice baseball, work even like work on a project after that's more like harder to do inside the building. But Mainly it's just if I have like some work to do, I'll manage my time where I have some time to practice and do homework as well as still getting in the right amount at rest at night because that's like a big deal. So mainly just staying determined while you're in the school building and not getting distracted. I tell you, yeah, absolutely, man. You've really built a lot of discipline into your life and that's what it takes. It shows a lot of maturity, you know, that generally speaking, that's what what I hear from guys that are already seniors, but you figured it out as a junior that you really got to start kind of compartmentalizing your time, you know, and, and it's, Mm -hmm. and it's not just while you're at school or while you're on the field, you're thinking about it while you're at home as well. You're getting tons of rest. You're eating the right kinds of food. You're thinking about what it is that you need to get through an academic day and then what you're going to need to uh, to get through the physical piece in the afternoon and evening as well. That's extremely mature, Caleb. Very impressive. Hey, uh, again, think back kind of, you know, what I was saying about memorable moments, but kind of think back over your career for any particular players or coaches that have really kind of stood out, maybe been very influential in your development as a player. Who would they be? Uh, first one that comes to mind is my last year summer ball coach with East Coast Sox. Uh, Cameron Fur was his name. The main thing he taught me was like to stay calm and confident, even the hardest times. Because at first I wasn't doing, I was just in my head a lot. And he just told me that the confidence is like 98% of the game. So I just remember just, it's baseball is almost all mental. So I was, he of course taught me baseball, like the fundamentals also, but mainly I need to mental side and that's what I think I've improved the most this year going into the high school season this year was my mental side and how confident I felt on the field man absolutely I I tell you we've been doing this Twitter space series now for about a month or so and and one thing that I love is meeting guys like you Caleb but I got to tell you the truth I wish we could do it as a video I'm just smiling while you're talking because you're so right Hmm. Uh, baseball is so mental it's incredible it's in your mind all the time and i I think you got the right mental aspect as as to what you're talking about hey anybody that's joining again late or you already got in thank you very much we certainly appreciate it i'm at now underscore d1 we do this series monday through thursday We publish this as a podcast. I think we're on about 15 or 16 different platforms, everything from Apple Podcasts to Spotify to Pandora to Radio Public, Overcast. I mean, you name it. Lots of people I have have not even heard of. So it's it's starting to get to be kind of a big deal. And, uh, And the reason it's getting to be a big deal is because of guys like Caleb. And I tell you, the thing that's really interesting about this forum, from what I've seen, and I've had plenty of coaches really kind of jump on and listen to what uh, uncommitted prospects have to say. What happens in the, I think what happens in the recruiting process is 
you got a lot of guys that are trying to reach out to coaches. They're putting tape out there, video out there. They're putting their stats out there, but they're not really putting their personality out there. I think the major, I think the thing is coaches at, at whatever level, I mean, everybody from D1, D2, D3, NAIA, JUCO, all those athletes can play. They're all big. They're all fast. They're all strong. The expectation is you're going to be really, really good at baseball. What the coaches don't necessarily know is what are you off the field? You know, what is your character? How do you handle your business? How do you take care of schoolwork? Who are you as a person? And, and the, a little bit of a long plug for this particular forum, but I think it gives a voice to people like Caleb. I think it gives Caleb an opportunity to say, I understand what it takes to be successful. I've put the work in. I've got a 3.98 GPA. I understand how to take care of my schoolwork and take care of baseball and be successful at, at both. And that's what coaches want to hear because they don't want to be concerned about a prospect once they get to school. Are they going to take care of their schoolwork? Are they going to be, quite frankly, are they going to be knuckleheads off the field? They don't have time for that. Coaches are there to win ball games. That's it. They want to make sure that the guys that are there are going to help them win games, not tie up their time with off-field extracurricular activities that are detrimental to the baseball team. So I think this forum really gives a voice to guys like Caleb and Caleb is, as you can tell, is extremely mature, doing very, very well. He's got his head on, right. He's got a great GPA. He's got great athletic ability. I mean, somebody's going to be very, very fortunate to uh, have Caleb represent their school here in the very near future. So, hey, Caleb, again, congratulations. Man, you are absolutely knocking it out. Um, let me ask you, kind of, it's very similar to that academic question. I'm thinking about you just going through a regular school day. You know, you're, you're dealing with what you have to deal with socially at school, mentally at school, academically at school. It's, it's pretty rough. I mean, you're there seven hours doing what you need to do. And then when you leave the, the, the schoolroom, you're walking out onto a field, more than likely for a practice, a workout, or maybe even a game. How do you um, kind of leave the school, uh, school piece behind and really get your mind right for a game? Yeah, so that's a great question. Uh, really all depends on what I have that day, but for now we can maybe – I'll use, like, let's say I have a varsity game at 7. We can go on that. So, normally, I'll go home because he lets us dismissal early. But I'll go home, get something, like, light to eat so it's not heavy on my stomach during the game. Um, And then I'll, like, normally I'll listen to music before the game just to, I don't know, like what we talked about before, the mental side of the game is really big. So, that just calms my, like, mental side down. It's just, all right, this is about to happen. Um, So, make sure music is a big thing for me. And then... Also, I, school, I don't know. I just feel a little groggy. I don't know. I like to take a shower before, like, big games just to feel, I don't know, it's weird. That's just something I've always done since I was, like, I don't know, start of high school is just take a shower because I feel better. And it's all about a confidence, what we talked about earlier, too. Um, but when I I'll take a few swings on the tee, only the tee. I don't like to take full swings off uh, live at pitching or whatever. I just take tee, just keep it simple, going the other way. And then uh, it's all just the basics from there. I mean, try to stretch before, stretching thing, but mainly music, swings, just going the opposite way. Is, that's about it. And just staying confident and calm through the whole process. Man, I tell you, you absolutely have a little pattern down, not only with school, but also with uh, the with baseball as well. You put a lot of thought into this. And uh, it, it just – absolutely shows a ton of maturity let me let me ask you you know what what kind of music are you listening to who is it all uh, right now before a game i'll listen to country that's my main thing just calming music just get my mind i've always been in country because i've here i don't live on a farm but i've got two grandparents and i'm always on a farm 
and country. They've taught me to country music. Just always listen. Not like big into rap. Man, um, I love it. But country music's <laughs> my number one. So, any particular uh, country artist you want to call out? Uh, before game like Luke Combs, Morgan Wallen, that type of stuff. And then if I'm before like baseball wise, those two because they've got good like messages in their songs and then they're also their beats and stuff just are good for not too slow because you know some country can be super slow and it can take you out of it man that's good stuff right there man and how did you get into it i don't want to get too deep into it you touched on it but how did you get into taking a shower i mean that's really that's out there i think i don't know that's that's why i said it's kind of weird but if i'm like in school all day sometimes before like even if i go take a few swings and then go home i feel just a little sweaty and i know people are going to say well why are you going to take a shower because you're going to get sweaty again it's just i don't know i feel if i take a shower i just feel like refreshed and i feel like i'm going to i just feel more confident whenever i'm out there i just feel feel better i don't know that's what it takes i love it man you're knocking it out everybody's got to find that thing and that's that's one of your pregame things i love it good for you Stick with it, man. Hey, uh, again, anybody that's joining, thank you so much. If you want to be a part of this and you kind of want to get your voice out here and uh, potentially be heard as well, I welcome it. We are booked through the first part of June. We're kind of into the middle of June and so forth. But uh, send me a DM. Again, I'm at now underscore D1. I would love to schedule it. I think that this is a this is a fantastic forum. So, Please reach out to me. I would love it. Hey, um, uh, Caleb, thinking about, all right, so your season just ended, unfortunately. Had a great season. Went 28 and 11. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That's big time baseball. That's a ton of games, too. You played nearly 40 games as a high school uh, junior, rolling into your junior year. Let me let, kind of talk to us what you're thinking about you would like to accomplish over the summer. And then as a senior, what your goals are. But I don't want to say more importantly, but maybe bigger picture. Where mm-hmm. do, what are you kind of looking at for the next two to five years? Yeah. So right now, my short term goals are probably get a few college offers, maybe around that. But if anything, try to start up and start studying real estate and the business side, because I want to get really into that in case if like baseball doesn't work out, but it can still. But long term, like in the next like four to five, is finding that perfect college that'll help me with my academics as well as my athletics to help what I said. Like real estate's been one of my biggest things. So I want to go in there and business side. So I've always been good at like trying to sell things and I've always loved houses. So I thought that'd be perfect. Just trying I think to find that, college. Yeah, you know what? I think that would be perfect. Hey, there's nothing about you that sells the but I could absolutely imagine you being a great salesperson. I mean, you're, you know what I mean? I mean, you're extremely sincere. You're very thoughtful. You, um, you, you're strategic. You're able to compartmentalize things. I think you would be a, a great advocate for anyone that was looking for a house. You know, I, I kind of think back to myself being a younger person. I would certainly trust you just in the limited time that we've been able to talk. You know, I, you, you, ex- you really have your act together. And I, I could see you being a fantastic salesperson. Uh, let me ask you this, Caleb. You you said, you know, longer term goals, you're kind of looking for a perfect college. And you don't have to say the name of the college, but just kind of give me a sense of geographically, uh, fields of study, uh, socially. What What makes a perfect college? What are you really looking for? Yeah, the biggest thing to me is just close to home. Cause there's always like, I've always lived around here my whole life besides where I was born. I was born in New Mexico, but I moved at a very, very young age. So I've really much been here and living here my whole life. So I'd like to stay around here for the college and then maybe get out after that. But for here, definitely stay close to home and around the parents and friends, but maybe a good college that offers education on like what we said, the state and the business side, that's probably my number one with close to home so number one and two is close to home and just a good business side of the academics okay definitely appreciate that so if you have the opportunity i know you want to you want to kind of continue to pursue uh baseball you you know if you're going to play at the next level you know you need to be recruited 
So give us a sense of where you are in the recruiting process. And again, no reason to name any names, but just kind of a general summary. Are you just at the beginning phases? Are you kind of leaning on your coaches? Are you already sending out some emails or some coaches reaching out to you? Just where are you? Yeah, so right now I'd say I'm like not starting out, but I'm a little in the middle because for East Coast Sox, they're really good at getting you to experience like and getting your name out to coaches. So I've had a few coaches in person, like after a case with them, I've had a few coaches talk with me just about the normal stuff about what we're talking right now about outside of school. Like you said, that's big on their recruiting process. But besides just talking to a little bit of coaches outside, haven't had much pro- uh, experience, but that's about it. Okay. Hey, man, that's exciting, though. That's big time to have coaches already reaching out to you and just kind of asking you where you are, what you're feeling, and, and really kind of what the direction is. Exciting time of your life right here. I mean, this is, you know, the next year, this summer, uh, your senior year, uh, big time, absolutely a part of your life that you're going to look back on and uh, have a lot of positive memories. I mean, this is this is your opportunity, and I think you realize that. And uh, absolutely, really, really excited for you. Hey, let's end this thing with one kind of one last question. And uh, if there's anything at the end of this question that you want to ask me or anything else that you'd like to talk about, feel free. But I kind of want to reflect back over the, the, uh, the kind of the first question as we, we set it up. And you were talking about your dad and how you got started in T-ball and so forth. Kind of think about some of the younger guys that are coming up. And I know you're a junior about to roll into your senior year. Don't I'm not talking about like guys that are about to be freshmen, but maybe a little younger, maybe 10 year olds, 11 year olds. Think about your 11 U team, you know, and, and the excitement that you have while you were on that team. Think about kids right now that are kind of in that same situation. And uh, they're thinking, man, baseball is really what I want to do. What what kind of advice would you give them? Uh, right now, I think the best advice that I've been trying to tell myself, uh, even like right now, but it's really good for younger people, is just enjoy the outlast last because you know it's not a game you can play forever. So you never know when it's going to be your last day stepping on the field and playing the game that you love. So like, don't take it for granted every time you're out on that field. I know a lot of people say this, but just act like it's your last game because you really never know whenever it's going to be your last game. But because you'll Man, be grateful. That's awesome. I mean, you'll be grateful whenever you look back on it that you like took and you played as hard as you could, and every single time instead of you'd rather be grateful you did that instead of uh, re- regret in it. For sure, no question about it, man. Leave it all out there on the field. You never want to get older in life and think back, man. I wish I had. That's the worst thing that could ever happen to you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I think you understand that. And uh, that's great advice. That's great advice for an 11 year old. It's great advice for a 18 year old. It's also great advice for a 35 year old, you know, put it all out there and don't have any regrets. Caleb, I got to, I got, I mean, I got to tell you, I absolutely enjoyed tonight. I think you've got a fantastic future. I'm looking forward to what you're going to be able to accomplish this summer with the East Sox, with the East coast Sox. And I know next year is going to be another big year for you. And uh, I'm excited to see where you end up. You know, I hope that we're able to stay in touch. I think this was a fantastic evening. I hope you feel good about it as well. And I uh, really enjoyed meeting you and talking to you. I'm glad to have me. Appreciate you. Yeah. Glad to have me on here. Definitely, for sure. Anybody that's on, hey, we're going to do this again tomorrow night. We've got a 24 uncommitted, Miles Drawn. He's out of North Carolina. Uh, really excited to talk to him and uh, hear what his journey is all about as well. So thank you for joining. Thank you very much, Caleb. Uh, appreciate you being here as well. And we're going to end it. So good night. Thank you for having me. Thank you.